Pushkin. Hello there, I'm Malcolm Gladwell. I've written a new book called The Bomber Mafia, which is about what happens when morality and technology collide. My latest book, The Bomber Mafia, is about a group of pilots in the 1930s who set out to reinvent war. They thought that the way that wars were fought made no sense, and there was a way to conduct military affairs that uh, left far fewer people killed and left far less of a scar on the countries involved. And they failed. But they failed in the most kind of interesting and provocative and um, emotionally engaging way imaginable. The subtitle of the book is A Dream, A Temptation, and the Longest Night of the War. The dream refers to this idea the bomber mafia had about how to make war more humane. Uh, the temptation refers to the choices that were available to them when it became clear that their dream wasn't going to work. They didn't conduct war in a way that would win the war for their side, but would not be in keeping with their philosophy and their principles. And the longest night of the war refers to a day in March of 1945, when the United States bombed Tokyo. And it is the longest night of the war because in the history of the Second World War, it is the deadliest and most extraordinary and most heartbreaking 24 hours. This, there's something about this story of the Bomber Mafia that I think is extraordinarily relevant today because it's a story about how morality and technology collide, about how new, new techniques, new machines, new tools, new ideas, new innovations create ethical and moral challenges. They change what we can do, and as a result, they change the implications of our actions. I'm telling this story in the context of the Second World War, but I mean, look around you. This is a question that's at the heart of a hundred things I feel like we encounter uh, in the present day. So usually you write print books and they turn into audiobooks. This one was conceived as an audiobook. It was conceived with the sights and sounds and voices of all the people we're talking about. It was conceived of something that would move you emotionally because you would be immersed in the battles of the Second World War.